to the Swing Collective, Ulysses Owens on the drums, Yasushi Nakamura on the bass. Keep on clapping until they all come out here. Elio Villafranca on piano, Etienne Charles on the trumpet and percussion, the great Melissa Aldana on the saxophone. Swing Collective. Thank you. 
How you feeling, Dizzy? Come on, how you feeling? All right. I know it's a 7.30 crowd, but y'all still, you know, can bring the vibe. Uh, we're so excited to be here. This is the world premiere uh, of Jazz at Lincoln Center's uh, new ensemble, The Swing Collective. Uh, yeah, give it up. Uh, we're, we're so honored to be here. This is a new creation. Uh, the idea was to put together some of the top musicians uh, in our generation that love this music and that play this music. And, and so many people on this bandstand have uh, fan bases in their own right because their music is so wonderful. But we wanted to come together and combine all our forces and uh, play some great music. So we have on the trumpet, a uh, guy I've known for many, many years. Uh, he's Trini Mine from Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, one of the greatest trumpeters of our generation and uh, just an all-around wonderful human being. I love him very dearly. The great Mr. Etienne Charles. <laughs> also on the front line, uh, I think one of the most talented uh, tenor saxophonists in our generation as well. Also an amazing uh, composer, which you will hear later in the set. Uh, we love working with her. I've had a chance to work with her on a couple programs here at Jazz Lincoln Center, and she is dynamite. Uh, it's the great Mrs. Melissa Aldana from Santiago, Chile. As you can tell, this is a very diverse band. Uh, on the piano, uh, this guy, I think I had a chance to play with him maybe six, seven years ago. He uh, called me to do some stuff with his group. And uh, man, I, I love playing his music so much. So when we had this idea, I said, man, we got to get somebody that's not only a great pianist, but that's going to really bring a different vibe. And uh, this man is doing that and some. Uh, I love him also very dearly. From Havana, Cuba, Mr. Elio Villafranca. And uh, I once heard uh, someone I used to work with a lot say that, you know, one of the most powerful marriages musically is that between the bass and the drummer. If we're not getting along in our happy home, then nobody's going to get along. And uh, this guy and I, we've, we've had a long-standing musical marriage for many years, and we've been in many groups together. So when I thought about building this group uh, collectively from the bottom up, I said, I got to have my man, uh, Yasushi. He says he's from Tokyo, Japan, but I think he's actually from Tokyo, Georgia, because he's so soulful. <laughs> Give it up for Mr. Yasushi Nakamura on bass. <laughs> You're going to be hearing music uh, from pretty much the, the pen uh, of all of, uh, from all of us. Uh, this first composition was written by the great Mulgrew Miller, who I had a chance to uh, spend many years with. That was a composition entitled uh, Groove's Tune. Uh, the next composition is an arrangement by Yasushi uh, on the Herbie Hancock comp uh, composition called Maiden Voyage. Uh, so we're gonna have some fun, sit back, relax. I always say, please order more drinks because the more you drink, the better we sound. <laughs> and uh, man, we, we always get to say, man, we make music because we love it. Yes, it pays us a little bit, but man, we love what we do. So please share in that spirit of uh, helping us and assisting us with what we do. I come from the church, so we believe in call and response. So man, if we play our heart out, please give some back to us because we need you just like you need us. So thanks so much and I hope you enjoy this music. Yeah. 